So yeah, I'm just gonna do a brief overview on this because I mean, how many times can you go over the same vehicle and be like, here's all the R2, all the R2. So they're all the same, this, this one's a different color. But anyways, let's look at the cool things. This cool little Pajero thing on the front bar, whatever you call it, I don't really see those too common. You know, here's your front end, pretty good, pretty good. Some scratches, a little bit of rust there. Rusty wiper arms. I did put new wipers on today because it was raining, so that was nice. Bother to try it. Nice newer style spare tire cover. I believe it's from like the 98s. Don't really see them on the older models. This side looking pretty good as well. Added some more flair. A little big Yahoo Dream sticker and my sponsor, Yahoo Japan. Where am I? OEM Mitsubishi Rain Guards. Let's check out the interior because this was pretty cool. The uh, OEM Pajero Mini seat covers. Well, why does it have these? Are the seats trashed? No, they're not. They're pretty good. I checked them out. They, they look really good, actually. So they must have been put on there early in its life and protected the seats like they should. But that's it. A little quick walk around. Because um, what I plan to do is just some general maintenance of all the stuff that I have over yonder. Oil change, we got the OEM Mitsubishi filter, air filter, battery, and new terminals to swap over. Because uh, you know the stock batteries have little baby terminals, so gotta switch the connectors there. I basically just washed this, did some, used the iron and fallout remover just to get rid of some contaminants, which actually looked like it took a lot of it off. A lot of stuff off came off the car, which was cool. Then I washed it again, but then I noticed there's some just like, you know, stained dirt spots, if you can see in there. I don't know, fading or dirt or something in there. And then the other thing uh, I'm gonna do is work on the glass. The Yesterday I used like a glass stripper. I believe it was from the uh, company Stoner. But anyways, you know, it just applies like some type of polish onto the glass that makes like built, built up some residue and you just wipe it off. And uh, it's supposed to strip more contaminants or whatever on the glass and make it clear, more clear. I'm gonna try this stuff too. Made by Griot's, Griot's uh, glass cleaning clay. So it's just, uh, you know, like a clay piece that you would use on paint, but uh, this is made for glass and you just use any quick detail or like speed shine or lubricant and you just go over the glass and it's supposed to take off more stuff that's embedded into the glass to make it more clear. And then I also have the synthetic clay. Since the car is all washed and clean now, I'm just gonna go over it over the paint using the speed shine and just see if I can get more stuff off the uh, exterior as well. And this just came off the back window. So a lot of you Pajero Mini people like to go up, you know, lift it. Well, I am gonna go down. with the RSR High Performance Suspension Coil TI-2000. Look at this thing. <laughs> four springs, I hope it's four in there. You know what, I never even checked. Let's make sure. And just for some info for the Pizarro Mini Peeps, I left all the brake lines and everything 
like the clips attached because you can just flip it on the side, take everything off. You do have to compress the spring when you take it off, obviously, because the thing will just shoot out in your face 4 million miles an hour. So obviously, when you take the top hats off, you have to compress it. But uh, to take the assembly off, it's just bolt here, bolt here, bolt 17s. And then the tops are uh, 14. And then the whole thing drops down, flip it on its side, compress the spring, um, take the top hat, which is one nut, the whole thing comes out. Then the spring will slide out, slide the new spring in, and then assuming you have a nice strut, it will be extended. Um, and you'll be able to just push it on with a little bit of force to get the top hat on and then just, I used an impact gun just to compress it down until it stopped. So that's the first one there. There's a how to. I'll probably do a little, um, I'll give you some info on the rear because obviously the, the front is gonna be the same. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'll do the other front one and uh, I'll take some more video when I do the rear. See you in a little while. For the rears here, so I just jacked up the car initially by the diff, took the wheel off and then lowered it back onto these wood blocks, obviously, so the brake drum is not on the ground. And then I took the bolt out of the struts and I actually took out the rear support beam thing. I don't know if that was necessary, but it seemed like it would restrict it from uh, getting the load off the car. So that's what I did here. I just put another jack here Breaching up here, since the spring is just sitting in like a cradle. Just comes out like that. <laughs> then you have the little, little boot. Put on a nice new spring. Hopefully it goes in here. And then find where the groove is where the spring coil stops, which is right here. So, you know, line this guy up. Okay, that was easy. And there's a the little RSR baby spring in there. And then now I'm just gonna do everything in reverse order. Jack up on the diff, put the wheels on, bolt back in the uh, struts, and the rear support bar, and that should be it. Let's put it back together and see how she looks. Sick. Okay, what's next? Oh, I know what's next. Look in the little corner over there. Look in the little corner over there. Look at the first test drive on the springs. Actually, I lied, I drove it last night. But, yeah, they're a little bouncy. Little bouncy, but nothing too terrible. It's not like, you know, cut springs or cheap coilovers where you're fearing for your life bouncing all over the road in every bump. But, I mean, in this video, I'm hitting bumps right now. I guess it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. And my full of junk in the back there. But yeah, we're just heading to my friend Mike's shop to get some tires put on the wheels for the final transformation. So that's where I'm going. What the heck is this in my spot? What the heck? Can I even get in here? Yeah. To my shop, skiddy ba doop boop bit. What is this in Aristo? Hanging out with the slash plate on the CT. Skiddy deep. Beep boop. So here we are, my friend Mike's shop. Got the car jacked up, getting some wheels off, putting some wheels on, you know. Pulled up to this Aristo with the CT slash plate, dual exhaust, Tom's badge. Keys right there. What suspension is on this? Uh, BC coils. BC coils. Camera arms and control arms. Camera arms, control arms. 
Does it have a 2JZ GT? Yeah. Oh. I'm not doing any crazy, stupid, big reveal of the wheels coming down with the cinematics. No, here they are. Impression. Yep. We got some rally art option wheels that were for the Pajero for this year that I was lucky to find on Yahoo Japan. Brand new Yokohama, what are they, GTs or something? Yokohama Avid. Avid? Right. What are they? Avid Ascend. GT. Avid Ascend GT. Yep. I went with 195.65, which is... A little taller? It's a little smaller, actually. Oh, okay. The factory tire size is 170.80 or something. It's super tall and skinny. So I went with a little, a tiny, it's like 0.8 smaller, and it's like just under an inch wider. So I'm trying to make the Pajero more drive like a car and not like an off-road jeep so that's why i did the lowering springs oh, engine you them already yeah they're on there right now okay. it's nothing crazy but it makes it a little sportier so i figure with lowering it an inch and a half putting a wider tire on here it, it's going to be more like a street car because yeah. people talk about the you know the death wobble and like you're so high off the ground with skinny tires there right. is there is some wobble there Short wheelbase. yeah there is some wobble there Pajero used car a lot. Yep. Connecticut's number one Pajero Mini <laughs> importer. Who else has three? No, nobody that Does have one? Who has one? <laughs> yeah, I got three. I got excited and I just kept buying them. They spin it. Now, how balanced was that one? No, no, not too bad. Not too bad? Because they look like they were never really used. So there's one and I will get to take in the wheels off of this thing using this baller snap-on jack that can lift up a house. And uh, we'll get these wheels on. So just as a small comparison here, on the left is a 175.80.15, and this is 195.65. It's pretty close. Just a little bit, a little bit wider, but you know, just for a comparison there, a little bit wider, tiny bit, not as tall. Nice. Now I'm gonna take a drive to my other friend Mike. Mike G203. T03. 203. Let's see what's popping off down there. Thanks Mike for the tires. No problem. Yay! Holding strong on the highway, killing it. New wheels and tires. Heading to Mike G's shop. He's always got something cooking. I'm gonna hit him with the horn. I'm gonna hit him with the horn. Excuse me. Can you tell it's lowered? Yeah, definitely. 
Nice. Opposite what I'm doing with mine. I know. <laughs> like have two different setups, the same but different. Yeah. Yep. That's how you got to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this thing was good. I told you it was clean. Yeah, it is pretty clean. Did you put that on or was that on there? Oh, I put that on there. Oh, yeah. That? Legit, huh? Yeah. Where do, you, do you have it made or? No, that I found them on Yahoo Japan. Oh really? Yeah. Maybe I'll give you one. How many you got? I have like a sticker sheet of them. Oh nice. Yeah. Do you notice any difference between this one and the other ones running wise, or they all just feel the same? It's hilarious. They all sound different. They all start up different. Yeah, yeah I love the seat covers too. I know. The seat covers are sweet. And I did take them off. The, the seats look really good. They're nice. They, they were yeah. just, they it's were. even better that it saved the seats underneath it. Yeah, they were protected the whole, the whole, pretty much probably its whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet so. deal. This thing looks awesome, man. Yeah. Nice and toasty. The freaking torpedo. Yeah, I think it puts out work. <laughs> what do you got? The six 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 plate? Yeah. Oh, you come on! <laughs> oh man, the freaking glitter ones. Yeah. What? Some arrow wool. <laughs> I changed. I changed the Sylvia ones too over to blue frosted. Oh, nice. The coils on. So this is the absolute lowest that the coils will go. Like the lowest, lowest. So I'm not sure if I'm quite happy with yeah, that. Yeah, it looks like it could go more for yeah. you. <laughs> that's that's not I mean, low tire, for you. The tire is also deceiving a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's like right there. But I think yeah. I am going to end up going S chassis for an end on it to go lower. Oh, you can like convert it all? Yeah. That's about it. Good old Sylvia. Yeah, have really done resting for the winter. That's it. It's, it's yeah, done for the winter. Yep. I ain't coming out. BMW's not coming out. I'll probably drive this a little bit. We'll leave you with that. 